this week's Friday Foundation, I'm talking about opposition. So the principle of opposition is used in Pilates, it's used in eccentrics, it's used in a lot of the methods that we do here in our classes. And I wanted to explain to you just a little bit about what that means. And we're not meaning opposition in a negative pushback kind of way. We mean opposition in how the muscles and the tissues, the fascia, are being stretched and strengthened. So when we talk about opposition, if you think about a muscle, for instance, and the TheraBand is the muscle, and my fists are the joints. So if you think about the hamstring muscle, it connects at the knee and at the pelvis. So knee, pelvis. So usually uh, if we start lengthening the muscle, we start doing a hamstring stretch, for instance, we sometimes tend to bring the other end towards it to shorten that stretch. So we're pulling at one end and then we kind of let that stretch go by moving the other end towards it. What we want to do is lengthen through one end and then lengthen out through the other end. So very often we're doing this all throughout Pilates, all throughout eccentrics. We're lengthening through one end, but also lengthening through the opposing end or the opposite end. So we have the ends of the fibers or the muscles or the spine moving away from each other in opposition. This can also work when we're using our abdominals to help us with uh, moving the legs, moving the arms. We're kind of moving the abdominal muscles in opposition. We're moving them away from the limb or the leg or arm that is moving. That can get a little more complicated, but I'm going to show you what I mean here with side leg lifts. So, if we are on our side for side leg lifts, lengthening out through that top leg, very often we'll see kind of lengthening through the leg, reaching out through the leg, but then that stretch and lengthening kind of gets lost up here through the upper body and the spine and into the shoulder. So that lengthening is really lost. So if we lengthen through the leg, but also lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the torso, all the way out through the crown of the head, we have opposition. Crown of the head, out through the toes, we're reaching and we're almost kind of stretching that body apart from the crown of the head, out through the toes, creating space between the vertebra of the spine, creating length through the muscles of the waist, the obliques, the legs, and those side glutes and hips muscles that we're lengthening and lifting. So we want to keep that opposition as we lift, not sinking as we lift, and then lowering. So we want to keep that opposition as we lift and as we lower. Keep that opposition. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So there is your Friday Foundation talking about opposition, keeping the ends moving away from each other. That's the easiest way to think about it, to really make all of your movements and workouts more effective and also make your joints a little happier so that you're not sinking into your spine, your shoulders, your knees, your hips, it's creating a little bit more space in those joints and creating a little more length through the tissues to strengthen and move. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next time.